Hi, welcome to Ask Less. The question comes up very often is when you really, when you should really utilize a vortex tube operated air conditioning system for control panels as opposed to regular air conditioner. I have in my hand a Nextflow panel cord. It's a vortex tube operated air conditioner for control panels. It operates by having compressed air coming in, which literally splits up into a hot stream and a cold stream. The cold stream goes into a control panel through a uh, attached hose with holes in it, distribute the cold air inside, uh, basically air conditioning the inside of the control panel. But when is the best time to use this kind of technology? Because one of the crit critiques that people have against Vortex to operate a panel coolers is the fact that they use compressed air, and compressed air can be costly, which is true. However, they are used in a lot of places and they're much better to use for a variety of reasons and the two main factors we're going to describe here today. The two things you have to consider in choosing a vortex tube operated panel cooler over a regular air conditioner is how important is reliability and the nature of your factory environment. Those are the two key factors. Now, as to reliability, how important is the application? If an air conditioner goes down, it just goes down. It's very unlikely with a compressed air source as the only energy required to operate a panel cooler that it's going to go down. Secondly, this particular application, how often does the air conditioner actually have to be operating? For example, variable frequency drives. Variable frequency drives get hot on startup. After that, they cool down, they don't need the air conditioning effect. So a panel cooler can simply be hooked up through a solenoid valve and a thermostat, and it will simply go on when required and go off when required. It may only be operating 25 to 30% of the time. So your energy cost is actually not that high. But you still have the reliability of the fact that it's always going to be there when you need it. And also access. Vortex tube operated panel coolers were actually developed originally to be applied to areas which are very hard to access when air conditioning is required. So if access is difficult, you want a product that's not going to require a lot of maintenance, if any. And panel coolers are essentially maintenance free. So access is important. Maintenance, and by what I mean by maintenance is access to maintenance personnel. There are some areas in the world where having uh, access to maintenance people to be able to fix an air conditioner is not that easy. And again, uh, with, uh, as time goes on, uh, getting uh, people that are able to actually repair these things may actually be in short supply. So maintenance, uh, the access to having maintenance is very, very important. So if reliability is a major factor in air conditioning a control panel, consider this particular application, uh, how important is it, how often the air conditioner has to actually be used, uh, access to servicing that air conditioner, and having maintenance ability to service that air conditioning system. If all these things are critical, the panel cooler becomes more and more the most obvious choice to use. Now, the factory environment. The dirtier the environment, the more it makes sense to use a vortex tube operated panel cooler. For example, I was actually in a factory where they were making a type of material that put a lot of fiber in the air. And this fiber kept getting into the control panels. They literally had to clean the control panels every single day. Now that fiber, just by being in that control panel, is going to affect the life of those controls. Secondly, they've got to clean every day. They've got to have a person there every day spending time at a cost cleaning those control panels. A vortex tube operated panel cooler will actually keep the inside uh, of the panel at a slightly positive pressure keeping out that kind of an environment. If the environment has a lot of carbon black, has a lot of uh, other type of material flying on fiber, carbon black, uh, pieces of anything, smoke, Anything that could get inside a control panel that's going to be positive, an oily atmosphere, for example, that material is going to get into that control panel with a regular air conditioning system. 
with a, with a Vortex 2 Blackberry panel cooler, it will not. Properly installed and operated, it will keep the control panel clean, reducing all that maintenance and extending the life of your controls. So the dirty the environment, the more likely to use it. On the other hand, if it's an extremely clean environment, it may not be the wisest choice. Go to regular air conditioning. But the dirtier the environment, the dirtier it is, the more likely it makes sense to use it. High humidity. In very high humid environments in factory, I have seen, and this is not such an uncommon practice, where people will take a compressed air line, put it into the control panel, to put in that compressed air to actually keep the humidity out of the control panel. So if you're already putting compressed air into it and then you have an air conditioner, it makes no sense. Why not have a compressed air operated air conditioner operating in the first place? So very, very high humid environments, this is something to consider as well. And finally, vibration. If the factory environment is such that there's a lot of vibration that spreads onto the equipment, that's going to affect the life of that air conditioner, it, which means you're probably going to have to replace the, um, the chemical inside, the CFC or the HCFC, far more often. Now, not only is that affecting the environment, it's affecting the planet, it's also an extra cost, and it's also downtime and more maintenance. That factors against and more than offsets the cost of the extra energy required to operate a compressed air operated panel core. So, with the factory environment, you consider the dirt, the humidity, and the vibration uh, that it, the machines are uh, exposed to. The more all these things occur in a factory environment, the more sensible it makes, or the more sense it makes to utilize a vortex tube operating panel cooler. So overall, consider reliability, how important it is, and consider the factory environment as to whether and when a vortex tube operated panel cooler makes sense. If you have any questions concerning the use of compressed air for blow off, moving, cooling, ask less.